This one came out of nowhere for me. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Because we remember a couple months ago, something like that, we heard, oh, Leslie Benzies, the like main creative director person uh, at Rockstar North on the entire Grand Theft Auto series, turns out he had been on a sabbatical and then decided to just retire. Like, oh, okay, well, cool. He cashed out. Yeah, we clearly, talked about this. Yeah, clearly made a ton of money, and that was it. Well, this week... News breaking that he has, it is a he, by the way, uh, he s is suing Rockstar Games for $150 million, Jeez. alleging oh unpaid gosh. royalties and that he was not allowed to come back to work following his sabbatical, which I believe was something like seven months, something so like that. So I read that wow. it was from September 2014. So right after they shipped the right. Well, actually, no. That's but a it, year later. But until to now, like that's a long time. I like that's well, not, a year no, not till now. I uh, the, the uh, sabbatical wasn't until now. Though I mean, the, this lawsuit broke now. But, right. Uh, so here's sounds like they tried to take some money from him. We only have a, we have a statement from both sides. So I'm just going to read you the statements because I think you know I don't even want to begin to speculate on this yeah. because without here without without letting the the court proceedings go because I think either subconsciously and even consciously for some people they inherently think oh you know the little guy got wrong the big company's evil we don't know like leslie benzies could be a huge tool who is impossible to work with for all we know i mean the guy's you know we don't know the guy's been there forever but here is leslie benzies attorney's statement <clears throat> While on sabbatical, Mr. Benzies discovered numerous deceptions on the part of Take-Two, <clears throat> Rockstar, Rockstar North, Sam Hauser, and Dan Hauser, who sought to force him out of the company and terminate his portion of royalty payments based on arbitrary actions by the company's Royalty Allocation Committee, a committee that may or may not have actually ever met. Okay, so that is, that is the uh, allegation there. Rockstar issued a statement to us when we followed up and here is Rockstar's statement. Leslie Benzies was a valued employee of our company for many years. Sadly, the events that culminated in his resignation ultimately stem from his significant performance and conduct issues. Despite our repeated efforts to address and resolve these issues amicably both before and after his departure, Leslie has chosen to take this route in an attempt to set aside contract terms to which he previously agreed on multiple occasions. His claims are entirely without merit and in many ways, uh, excuse me, in many instances downright bizarre, and we are very confident this matter will be resolved in our favor. A core ethos since Rockstar's inception has been the concept of the team. It is deeply disappointing and simply wrong for Leslie to attempt to take personal credit for what has always been the tremendous efforts of the entire Rockstar team who remain hard at work on delivering the most immersive and engaging entertainment experiences we can I just have for to say our fans. This is so juicy. It really <laughs> this is. This is so <laughs> drama. Yeah. There is a lot it, here. It really makes yeah. me think of, you guys watch Mad Men? Uh -huh. Remember when Don goes on sabbatical for a while because he gets like forced out of the company and he's mm -hmm. gone for like a year and he's just trying to keep tabs on what's going on. And then he comes back and makes on. the best commercial of all time yeah, and makes like, them billions of dollars. He's keeping tabs on the yeah. company using like oh, moles yeah. on the inside yeah. trying to figure out like what's going on and mm -hmm. stuff. Like this is what this reminds me of, you mm -hmm. know, like he's out on the out, like to everyone else in the world, like he's just on sabbatical, right? But like, you know, there's all this behind the scenes drama. That's what like what I'm imagining in my head here. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to do a dramatic reenactment. Dollars. Yeah, 150 million. That's, <laughs> That's a lot a of, money. Huge amount of yeah. money. Well, but you if you got to you got to remember, we talked about this when he went on sabbatical originally. He had to be making had to be we're a, speculating a, a, an impressive salary before he left because he, and plus all the insane bonuses yeah. that they probably got from sh from each GTA which you know each has sold more than the last culminating in GTA 5, I think what is it, over 50 million, I think, was the last? I mean, the, the bonuses, so the guy's clearly making good. So $150 well, million dollars is a, a ton of money, but when you consider if they are, in fact, withholding royalties, <laughs> I totally believe that there'd be $150 million in Grand Theft Auto royalties because of how well that series has yeah, sold over the years. Sure. Definitely, and maybe he's suing because he didn't get all this money that you're thinking he might have, and he's like, right. hey... I helped make the Grand Theft Auto series. Not even just we helped just, make it, but yeah, like led it. Led yeah, the, led, led it. it. And I want my cut, you know, and his cut is $150 million, which is yeah. why he's suing for that. But again, amount. we also don't know, for all we know, because it definitely, 
Grand Theft Auto V was made. I mean, the core Rockstar North team is hundreds of people, but then then they also get like every other Rockstar studio involved in whether it's testing or whether it's mm-hmm. some gameplay system. They are like thousand person efforts. So Rockstar is certainly not wrong to say it's a team. Yeah, there, but at the same time, they're gonna it's settle. Like, <clears throat> no, I mean, at this, yeah. I I totally get it. Like the team is super important. All of these entertainment franchises both in movies and games are huge collaborative efforts but the creative director and the producers are probably a little bit more important than like a coder of course mm-hmm. well, in less, the grand scheme of things I guess, but at yeah. the same time like if he signed a contract or something which is basically what rockstar's statement said signed multiple contracts that basically said the same thing yeah yeah, yeah i mean i and he's whatever. open for a settlement i bet 150 Probably. million, oh, I, I almost 150 certainly. million. Maybe if I get half that, yeah. Yeah. fine. You know. But he I, definitely for me, fine. 75. It's yeah. still good. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Like he, he can Jason West it and just go off into the sunset <laughs> with, with yeah. millions of dollars and live on a beach for the rest of his life. Mm. But the, for me, however this turns out in the courts, I'm honestly just sad. I'm as a gamer, I'm sad because this is a guy who has been part of, who has been a key part of some of my favorite games ever. I mean, Grand Theft Auto 3 is a top game. is a top probably 5 game of all time for me. I mean, when that it was when I first played that it like transformed anything. me. Yeah. It was and then I think GTA 5 is legitimately one of the greatest video games ever made. Yeah. For sure. I really right. truly do. Fantastic. And so to me, I'm just sad that we're not that that we're not going to have him uh, he won't be working on GTA anymore Mom and because Dad are fighting. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> When, yeah, I mean, going back when three launched, it was just I'm just it took me a while to wrap my head around it. I'm like, there's this whole world that you can explore, basically like New York, basically, right? Yeah, and it's just like I can do anything, pretty much, like yeah. anything I want to. And it was hard to kind of and you could do the it. missions I, in any number of ways. I would leave my game running and play the radio stations because there was such funny commentary Absolutely. on it. I'm just like, this is just so crazy Laszlo. that I'm experiencing this yeah. this way. All the hidden jumps. Mm-hmm. All the, yeah. you know, if you did all the, if you did like 50, well, you do like 50 of the police mm-hmm. vigilante missions, you yeah. just steal a cop car and start answering the calls, do yeah. enough of those, then you get like a permanent armor at your base, yeah. at your hideout. <laughs> yeah. Like there was, yeah, there was just so, it was, it was that game was transformative. I was absolutely. really young when I played it, but I really distinctly remember this one mission where there's like this like courtyard and there's all these white vans that I think you have to put bombs in them Mm -hmm. and then you had to like run away before they exploded or before everyone killed you and I know that I just spent like forever trying to do that and when I finally got it done I was like I could die happy now and I would have been maybe 12 when I played (laughs) it like I was very young when I started playing GTA but that game was yeah absolutely incredible I wish that I had played Vice City though it bugged out on me oh Mm. oh Vice City bugged out on you yeah because I I bought the trilogy with the original Xbox oh yeah so it was like it came with GTA 3, Vice City, and San, San Andreas. Andreas. And oh. Vice City, I just kept falling through the floor. Oh, like, man. That sucks. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be very interesting to see. This is really interesting. What? I hate how interested I am. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. very like, drama ooh. heavy. Yeah. Yeah. What, I, it's, it'll just be interesting to see what Grand Theft Auto 6 inevitably looks like without him. Like, if there's – will will there be a, a, a noticeable change in – direction in some capacity whether it's a gameplay change or a tonal change mm-hmm. you know it'll it'll be very uh, fascinating to see what the next game looks like hopefully there's not a dramatic impact on six it's, this isn't a franchise i want to see go through turmoil i mean i don't Absolutely think so not. right like after you've gone through this many iterations of the game with or without your creative lead like you think you have a pretty good idea it's of what not the games like have to be. well it's not like the same thing every time though like look at what five does with the character swapping and everything they they make dramatic innovations but, from game to but game but here's the thing you know i you talk, i talk a lot about uh, i think i've said this before but it's very rare in the games business that a core team talking about the leads the main people they stay together for an extended amount of time like rare had that for many years uh bungie had that for a while but like the bungie you know now and this is this is not a this is not a a, i'm not ripping on them but the bungie now is is very very different than the than the halo bungie it's not the same people there's jason jones and there's one but it's mostly a different team but Mm -hmm. the grand theft auto team 
that with the Hausers and Leslie Benzies and um, Aaron, uh, the art, it's the art director. I can't remember the art director's name, but it had been the co- same core team vir- pretty much since three. Mm-hmm. You're talking like 10, 15 years, which is virtually unheard of. And, you know, when you get a talented group of people, that's like that's like keeping the Michael Jordan era Chicago Bulls together for to win six championships. I mean, that's exactly whereas most teams end up this, you know, guys leave as free agents, they get traded and things get disbanded. And, you know, it, it you can't keep that group together. They kept that group together. Mm-hmm. So it's sad that that group at least a big piece of them is now no longer there. It's just yeah. so scary to think about, like, the idea that maybe that group is why each GTA has sold more or, or has yeah. gotten better. Like, I didn't like four that much, but I think five is incredible. Mm. Like, it's scary that if we lost that team, then we would lose GTA. But at the same time, I don't know if Rockstar has ever made a bad game. Like Rockstar well, North. Rockstar Specifically North. Specifically Rockstar North. Game. Let's like, specify. <laughs> like, well, well, they certainly haven't because they're credited games. I, well, I'm trying to remember if uh, Manhunt wasn't that good, and I was that I North. Don't, I don't. I, that's what I'm trying. I don't remember I'm if it was sure. credited to them. I, I'll have to look it up. Uh, wasn't there a tennis game? That wasn't Ping North. Pong? That wasn't North. But it was also good. Was it? It was good. Really? Table tennis. Was it was literally good, made yeah. as wow. a as a test bed for the for the Rage Engine, mm-hmm. huh. which would go on to power GTA 4 and all their other stuff. GTA, and they, they commercialized it and released wow. it as a game. GTA 4's controls and like narrative and everything was kind of clunky. But, yeah, I didn't uh, like GTA 4 so much. But, but its achievement Cobb was system. its visual fidelity. Yeah, you well, know, like basically. The, but yeah. the, the density of that world was yeah. incredible. Oh, man, I mean, I remember, the in game internet, which was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember like you would walk down a street and it would start raining and people would actually pull out their umbrellas. Like, it, for whatever yes. reason, I was like, whoa, yep. these people are alive. Uh, yeah. Like, Manhunt was. Manhunt alive, is credited and they have to Rockstar North, by the way. <laughs> well, oh. when Rockstar North. Sorry, when Manhunt came out, because it was edgy, I thought it was cool, but I don't know what I actually thought of it as an. Game. Also, uh, Manhunt apparently also the to best the, the best gay dating yeah. app to chat with and meet guys worldwide. That's the other. That's the more <laughs> modern version of Manhunt, according, <laughs> to, according to the Google, the Google search results. Yeah. So just FYI, if you're you know. Hunt for men, <laughs> then there you go. Sponsored but, by Manhunt. <laughs> you know that's podcast unlocked. Brought to you by <laughs> Manhunt. So uh, wow, this table is not. Level. Level. Look at that. There you go. Learned something <laughs> new today. So anyway, uh, very, very fascinating drama afoot at Rockstar Games. We will probably not hear anything else about this until it's resolved. I'm curious to see how it resolves. I agree with you. I think Destin and I think it'll be a, a settlement, almost certainly. That's just that unless yeah. unless they're just so angry at each other that what that either or both of them decides nope i'm in i'm sticking this out i'm gonna yeah. take this to the to the death well that'd probably be leslie he's probably pissed but you never well rockstar could yeah. be like f this guy he's well know, that's their reaction we don't know, we don't know. Yeah. yeah there's no easy there's no better way to calm some nerves than nice 60 or 70 million dollars <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah sure we're good right you got it 70 did, million dollars it did make a billion dollars in like a day yeah, remember so, so like, <laughs> there's, do you like in the grand scheme of things for how profitable GTA has been, that's not really that much money. I yeah, can't right? really think of any like slight against me that wouldn't be immediately yeah, forgotten with by 70 60 million, million dollars. dollars. Yeah, yeah but, like, no, it's fine. Remember, do you though, take 60 million today in exchange for like 2 billion lifetime? If I'm a game know? dev, yes. Yeah. But but yeah. remember, Sean, you got try to put yourself in Leslie's shoes though, because of course, per, uh, seemingly in his mind, I don't think he, it's about the money. No, I don't think so either. If he thinks. Yeah. If you were a game developer and you th- you had worked on this huge thing and you th- you believe that you have a contract that entitles you to 150 million dollars and they go no and then you settle you sue Here's them and then they're million. like okay well we'll settle with you for 60 sure Are, that's not going to seem so great cuz no, you're I like I'm owed 150 but at the yeah. same time like in my mind and I do not know the legal proceedings at all but like that should be a pretty clear cut case whether or not you deserve it or not right mm-hmm. like I, if you, you sign the contract so. but yeah. you never you know, know man right? I yeah mean, no you're totally right you don't know yeah but you're right i mean here's the thing i don't know for a game dev it feels like there is no so few games make that much money just total in general uh 
if you could settle for 60 or 70 million dollars for just you personally i don't know yeah i There's think no it's, that he's mad, it's easy but... to say sitting here yeah. Sure. He's in mean, New York. He can buy a house in the city if he wants. Well, they're in they're yeah. in they're uh, Rockstar in North is in, <laughs> is in Edinburgh, Scotland. Go to, uh, go to New York, Destin. There are no houses there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could buy something for twenty million dollars. He the could city, buy so the uh, sixty million sweet yeah, apartment yeah. in in the Upper yeah. West Side. He for could sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He could live in New York City for ten months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. What other ten game can I make? <laughs> all right. <laughs>